today's mobile review, Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb Night Vision. Let's get some sprints, first impressions. It's a little strong on top, I gotta give it a little time. It's got some bite to it. It smells really fresh though, so I like the fresh version of this one versus the spicy version. The spicy version does not smell good to me on my skin. to the channel i want you to take a look around once you've decided that you're in the place to be i want you to make sure you do all three i want you to like comment and subscribe welcome back for another mobile ride along it's been a while since we've done one of these even though you guys probably can't tell the difference because i'm still editing ones i've not posted <laughs> victor and rolf spice bomb night vision i've tried the original I've tried the extreme. Of course, I am trying night vision. Let's get some sprints, first impressions. Let's say what we get. This is one of those fragrances that comes out very sweet in the beginning. It's got some bite to it. I'm definitely picking up some sweetness and some spices. The original is too spicy. I hated it. It smelled like licorice. <laughs> like that on my skin. I see why people don't like licorice because. That's what Spice Bomb reminded me of. It reminded me of Spice Drops. This one reminds me a little bit of Invictus in the opening. This is my favorite Spice Bomb thus far because it's got some similarity to the Spice Bomb DNA without it being just like the rest of the Spice Bombs. On my skin, they just kind of don't work. And I hate that because that's annoying. I like the bottom. I enjoy a fresher take on this fragrance. I don't know 100% if the naming convention is accurate because I would think that the Spice Bomb Extreme would be the night vision because it's more night. I sprayed this across the chest and across the body, eight atomizations. I would think to probably wear this when it is a bit cooler outside, fall going into winter. I could possibly wear this in the summertime. It just really depends on how I'm feeling. Such a sweet yet fresh spicy fragrance. I usually don't care for really spicy this one though, it has some buoyancy to it. It has some brightness and that's actually what I like about it. It makes me happy when I put it on. It puts me in a happy mood. I've sampled it a few times and had a good, good amount of projection and sillage from it. A fragrance doesn't have to last 10 hours to be a star in my opinion for the simple fact that when you have a larger collection, you need time to wear the thing. So if everything's beast mode, when are you gonna wear it and enjoy it? This is a newer release for 2019. The nose behind the fragrances. In the top, we have in the mid, we have In the base, we have I'm still getting fresh and sweet. It's a little harder for me to detect and pick out specific notes. I'm willing to bet we have cardamom, maybe some tonka. That's all I'm getting at this particular point. This is one of those mass appealing fragrances that I actually like. It smells good in the traditional sense. Kind of the bubble gum, invicted sea, spicy, without it going too juvenile. Since it's a newer release, I haven't seen it at the discounters for less than about $80 or $90. I saw a tester on sale for about $55. I think that's a pretty good deal. Testers 
are a lot more appealing. As long as they come in some type of box with the cap, I'm cool with that. I just like to store my fragrances somewhere out of the light. Especially since the bottle is darker and it does come with the you know, little grenade clip, I would definitely grab a tester of this one and wouldn't feel a way about it. Pro tip, when buying testers, I would at all, if I could help it, buy from a reputable retailer. You should kind of do that anyway. But when buying testers, buy from a reputable retailer so that you know exactly what you're getting. The presentation on the fragrance I actually really, really like. I think it's clever and crafty that it is in the shape of a grenade. I also like the ombre effect of the bottle. Let's see that here. Place. Where to where? Even though at the time of quarantine slash COVID, there's not much of it going on. I could definitely see this being worn out. I would say to the club, but I haven't been clubbing it forever. To be quite honest with you, it just smells good. It's really good. Sometimes you run into fragrances that just smell good. Not groundbreaking, not revolutionary, it just smell good. And I happen to like this one. It just smells good. Oh my God. We're not gonna talk about play yet because I've only been around myself. Even though I enjoy the fragrance on me, so I would give me some play if I smell it. Smelling like this and looking like this. I, I want to know what's up. take myself out sometimes. But <laughs> smelling like this, I would take myself out like, what's going on? How you doing? I'd love to get to know. Performance. Three sprays. It's projecting nicely up off my hand. I can smell it probably about this far away. Projecting. Pretty solid, pretty solid. Okay. I thought I was gonna need sunglasses today. Okay, I'm, I am loving the sun on my face. So I'm so melanated and emancipated. What we're gonna do is come back with the recap after the workday wrap. So, y'all stay tuned. Cause we may have a treat. We may be walking around on our lunch hour and checking out the city. And at that point in time, we'll be giving an update while giving some little, you know, many hours later. I'm actually working right now, but you know what? We always can use a little bit of time to talk about fragrances, right? Right. I really think it's a perfect gift for anyone who is in the market for a new type of fragrance. So what I would say is if you've not smelled it, see if you can get a sample of it and then try it out yourself. You'd be hard pressed to find somebody who does not like this fragrance in the way that it smells. On me, it just smells fresh, sweet, with a smidge of spice because it's that good of a fragrance. I'm more than likely going to get a full bottle, especially if I can find that tester for a good price, for sure. So to kind of run it down on the ratings, on projection, I'm gonna give it maybe about a six and a half, seven. On performance, right now, I can smell it when I tuck into my shirt. Sprayed it on roughly about five hours ago. I'm gonna give it a seven and a half in performance as well. Price, full retail price of $100. Not feeling that, but if I can find that tester for about 50, I'd go for that. So for the price, I'd give it about a seven as well. Presentation, I really like the presentation. I love the way that the bottle is done. So I'd be willing to give it a nine and a half on presentation. So as far as play goes, I love the way that the fragrance smells on me. So I, I'm gonna lean toward giving it a eight in play. Is it a cop for drop? It's a cop for me. I have room for this in my collection, especially for a more cooler temperature fragrance. It's in, it's along the lines of Armani Stronger with you, 
all of those types of fragrances is within that same vein to me and I like the slightly fresh aspect that it takes and again I'm not 100% sure of the naming convention the night vision piece you would think it's for night it doesn't necessarily have the night-ish feel to me in my experience in my opinion I think that it probably be better suited for a day or evening thanks for sticking around viewing this content sharing this content and coming back to check me out roughly every week trying to get a schedule established Mondays will be my days usually to upload fragrance related content Fridays will be additional content days I do lives on Thursdays and Saturdays as well so you guys should be able to check me out at any given time if you miss out on, on any of my videos or lives you should be able to go ahead and check those out via the replay I have multiple playlists for you guys to get your content fix so again it's been your man Uncommon Sense as I'm doing my day job <laughs> i love you guys from the bottom of my heart top to sides and all the way around i'm out till next time all right y'all told y'all i was gonna do a little walking around on my lunch break i just wanted to come through drop some words of wisdom because you know what? I've just been experiencing so many interesting things. Just being out and about in Chicago in this time of supposed quarantine. I understand everybody is going through what they're going through. However, we are all human. I honestly feel like there just needs to be a lot more room for compassion, understanding, simple courtesies, holding the door open for folks. Not turning down your nose at people you don't think are worth the time and energy. <laughs> Just being a respectful human being. I've had some very interesting experiences that regardless of my status, stature, etc., have not prevented me from experiencing. So, I just want to share that with you guys. When at all possible, if you guys can, just extend a little more courtesy to humanity. All right, y'all. Well, that was my words of the wisdom for today. <laughs>